Alright guys, it's week two. Let's see where you should be at at Unity. So, fire off Unity. Now, for the game, you're going to create a new game or a new project. You're going to call it 2D underscore platform underscore game. Now, I'm not doing that because this is my environment where I'm already working. I'm farther along in the game. Um, but, so, but for you, that's what you're going to name yours. So, I'm going to hit new project and I'll call it test test. Make sure it's on 2D and create project. Now, I'm in the book and I'm on page, wait for it, ah, 25. Now, I want to warn you, there are some issues with the book. First, when the guy was printing it, he originally thought he was going to do more than one game, because if you look at the intro, he talks about a game called um, Learning Unity. Uh, and I'm on page five of the introduction, and it says you know you're going to name your project um, New Unity or Learning Unity. And he kind of went back and forth on some things, so I don't know if they got all that stuff out of the the rest of the chapters. And then if you get into the book, like page 25, uh, if you look at the very last item in page 25, it says um, in the game object create a new sprite and name this player. And then later on it shows up, you put it, you move it in the hierarchy and you have a player. And then on page 34 of chapter 2, he has you do the same thing. You create another game object, but this one's an empty game object, and you call it player. And then later on when you import the assets from chapter 4, you get a third player. So now you get three different players, um, so you get the idea. So obviously there are some issues with the book. So hopefully we can kind of work through those. So on page 25, you know, you create a new project, call it 2D underscore platform underscore game. Uh, and then in the project window, which would be here, project window, uh, remember you can move these tabs around wherever you want them. Um, you're going to create a new folder called scenes. So I'm going to go here to assets and I'm going to right click and nothing's there. So I'm going to create folder. So remember, I went up here and hit create and you're going to call it underscore scenes. So I'm going to rename this underscore scenes. And then it'll show up under assets. So click on create, folder, and then make sure you rename it to underscore scenes. Now step three, um, create a new scene and save it with the name test level. So all you have to do is go here, create, uh, not it. All right, so we're just going to go here and do file, save scene as. Make sure you put it in scenes, and that's where it should go. By default, it goes to assets, and then you just double click the scene folder. And they want you to call it test underscore level. Test underscore level. So test and level are both capitalized. Save that. Then under scene, it's, it shows there. Now, step four, you do not have to do. I believe that's parts the built in that's, that's built into Unity now. Um, they say under preferences, but you're like, well, where's preferences? Well, if I go edit and then preferences, where is that? So, there it is. Um, and then it says uncheck the always show um, wizard. But again, you see that's not even an option anymore. So skip step four. And then create a new folder named underscore GUI. So we go here to the project ta tab click on create folder and they want that one to be called underscore and the capital G U I enter don't and I probably don't want that under scenes um, I wanted that out here somewhere so let me kill that don't be like me and do bad stuff make sure you're under assets <laughs> and the, I, I mentioned this in the video the other video so right click ah create folder and then underscore GUI. So under assets you should have two folders, underscore GUI and then underscore scenes. Uh, if you're in scenes when you do that and your folder shows up here under scenes, just right click and delete it and then go back and make sure you highlight assets and then create. Alright, so that's step five. Step six says from the game object menu create a new sprite. So I can go to the game object 
and create empty no I want to hold on a sec I want to create a new 2d game object sprite so there's my game object there uh, and then rename this new sprite player so if I go here to the name part in the inspector I can call that player and hit enter and that should change here alright so I'm all good so that's page 25 then I turn the page, go to 26. Now it says, with the player game object selected, so we're going to make sure we click on that, um, attach an animator component. Well, that's all they tell you. Again, just poor, poor planning on this book, whoever edited this or whatever. It's just terrible. I don't know if it's because of the old version they actually had the animator, the, yeah, the animator component available, but you're like, well, where do I do that? And if I hit add component, again, no animator, so I need to go to miscellaneous and then that's where the animator is so now I have my animator so that's attached and then from the inspector manually set the transform position to all values of zero and by default that's where it is so X Y and Z are all zero and then save your scene and new project so I can hit file save scene file save project and that's all you need to do for chapter one. And again, if you have any questions, just let me know.